The Adventures of Ace, Gretchen, and Juice. Alright, so Juice, I heard you had a problem. Yeah, like people using my nickname when like they have no reason to be using it. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, 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 it's messed up. Just don't do that. You don't like it? What do you, what do you think about people using, do you like people use your nicknames that they didn't give you? I think it's kind of messed up. It's awkward. They don't know me. Why the hell are they calling me that name? <laughs> it's like, it's like that nickname was given to me by a special person. <laughs> I don't like, um, yeah, I don't know. It depends on the person, I think. It depends on the person, like, who's calling you by that name. Because you know how there's, like, some people who, like, they call you, like, some people be like, hey, Gretchen, what's up? They're like, oh, all right, that's cool. And then there's others who will be all like, hey, Gretchen, and they'll be like, what the hell? No. <laughs> it's worse if it's, like, some freaking creepy guy. It's like, uh. <laughs> Is that what's going on with you, Juice? Some it's, it's, creepy guy is saying, hey, Juice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not saying it like that, but yeah, like they use that, that name, they use another nickname, and it's like they didn't come up with it, and they, it's like it kind of. And they're creeper. Yeah, perhaps. Just, just a tad. And like they kind of like, I don't know, they, they jump in on it, and they, they kind of act like, you know. I don't know, I don't know what to say about that. It's just. It's like people no. who like invite themselves to like. Parties. Parties, or yeah. like your. Situations My nickname is not a party, so stay out of it. <laughs> stay out of juice. Nobody. What? Oh my God. <laughs> she doesn't want you wow. in her. Stay out. Oh my God. You know who you are. <laughs> wow. That's so gross. Anyways, so people who invite themselves to juice is out. That's so wrong. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but not in her bed. Oh my. Juice. <laughs> anyway. I'm not a hoe. <laughs> anyway, people invite themselves. Mm -hmm. What do you think about people who invite themselves? Like, people who invite it's themselves. like um, it's like say you're gonna go to movies with like a bunch of friends, mm -hmm. and then they let, they're just like, oh hey, like I want to go too, and like you like I didn't invite you. First off, you feel kind of like um, how do you how do you like uninvite them though? I'd say like oh really well have fun when you go. Let me know how you think about it. I don't say come with me. I say oh okay cool that's cool that you want to go but I'll check it. This is what I would do. Cause I, I was lame. Know? I was lame. Okay. I'd be like, oh, you know what? I call them up and I'd be like, you know what? Sorry, it's canceled. And then totally go without them. <laughs> and then, then I'd be like, oh man, we tried to call you. Your phone wasn't working. But then we decided to. So juice. What would you do if someone invited themselves so, um, um, to like anything that you were doing? Well, usually I don't like to be mean. Like just tell them like I don't like you. You know stuff like that. So I kind of just disappear. And if it's like in a specific room, like then a I ninja? go, yeah, like a ninja, and ninja like, a and go, yeah, with the flower and stuff, and then I, I get blinded because it gets in my eye. But any, besides the point, um, I go to the other side of the room where I try and make myself like invisible. That's what I do. It seems like a very extensive thing that you do to avoid people, and it seems awesome, and I want to see it in action one day. Like when you try to avoid a certain creeper. And, yeah. Six. Alright, so for today's letters from you, we have a letter from... Who's this? Some chick, I don't know, it says Anonymous from California. Um, she says, This cute guy gave me his number at the beginning of the semester, and he's kind of hot, but I haven't really talked to him since then. I was wondering, we kind of know each other, but I want to know him a little more. Should I text him? So Ace, give this girl your advice. Should she text him? <laughs> hmm, let me think. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, you should just like text him and just be like, hey, what's up? Because that's what I would do. Because I constantly like talk to people and you should talk to people too. Because social is good. You want to be like one of those emo kids. If you look like one of those emo kids, like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> like juice. Just kidding. She's not emo anymore. <laughs> Anyways, you know, you should just talk because talking's good. And then if you think you're a freak, then you think you're a freak because you probably are one. If you think you're one. So, don't give me that look. <laughs> <laughs> it's the truth. But, you know, I mean, if he's like way up here on the scale and you're way down here, you know, you, I don't know. But if he's just as weird as you, it's all good. And I mean, so find out if he's just as weird. Just be like, hey, what's up? Keep it casual. 
don't like start telling him he's to cut myself and stuff like that. That's not fun. They're, you're just gonna scare him. Just keep it light. Okay. Sad thing is, if he's a freaking hot guy, but then he starts talking and becomes a freaking mess. Oh, see, that's what you gotta worry about too. Like you just like you know you throw a little bit out there, and then he's just like, oh, I'm really excited, and because he's never like had human contact or something, we don't know. And then he turns into a fucking creeper, which you gotta watch out for. And you know a lot about creepers. Why don't you give him advice on creepers? Yeah, do not, um, if you're gonna text message them back, um, hide your number. So they can't text message you back if you find out that they're creepy. Um, cause you don't, you don't need that. You really don't. And I, I have personal experience with, with very many creepers. Ones that walk past windows. There's like six of them. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, wait, what? <laughs> okay. You're like six creepers. Yeah, okay. But, yeah, you don't want it to turn into, like, a situation that you can't get out of. You know, like, and then they're there all the time. You know, like, they join the same activities as you, like, clubs and whatnot. And then, like, and then you can't, you have to see them. And it's, like, it's so awkward because they're creeping on you. That it's just, like, it's bad ways there. Um, um, <laughs> yeah. Any last thoughts on the creeping? Yeah, if you have, like, a, somebody that's creepy or, you know, following you around and stalking you, you should you should keep a bat next to your bed. It's like like in Twilight when, when Edward pops up, so you just beat them. Beat them <laughs> down. Unless it's like an Edward, then you don't beat them. If not, you need to carry a bodyguard. Like this guy here. What? <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> this is Juice's bodyguard. This is Juice's own personal bodyguard <laughs> yep. 24-7. No, not... Not 24-7. Yeah, okay, like, you just killed it, guys. <laughs> At school. At school. At school, because she has so many freaking creepers, it's ridiculous. Yes. Yeah. So. See, if Juice really doesn't express that much interest in you, she's not interested in you. See, if a girl doesn't express so much interest, she's not interested, okay? If she doesn't ask you how your day is, and like, if she doesn't like talk to you, and you're the one always talking to her, you're a creeper, okay? <laughs> If you're finding little ways to be next to her, and she's not finding ways to be next to you, you're a creeper. Mm. What else makes you a creeper? Petting heads. Yes, this makes you a creeper. That was just like no, this, a reenactment of like, sorts. And, and, and keeping people's hair is kind of creepy too. Yeah, if you have a lock of her hair, you're a creeper. <laughs> oh, <laughs> 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 it's all nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see? That makes you a creeper. Just, yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Her name is Juice. What are you talking about? Are you talking about yes. chassis juice? Just chassis juice. juice. Everyone wants some chassis juice. <laughs> mm -mm, good. I don't know personal experience because <laughs> I don't do that. Anyways, um, <laughs> back to her letter. So, yeah, so text make, him. Yes, no, but hide your number. Try to make sure he's not a creeper. And if he is, you are totally effed. You're screwed. Change schools. <laughs> change your hair. Change, change your hair. Change your face. Why not? <laughs> or rearrange his. <laughs> All right. They're done. Like old people. This concludes the adventures of Ace, Gretchen, and Juice.